we just wanted to uh, remind you to think about the fact that we do have many of our people here in Atlanta that are less fortunate than the that here. And we, we'd appreciate it if you put them in your prayers and also if you would get together with other organizations and groups that are doing things uh, to deal with our homeless ladies, those who, and children, and those who are in battered women's shelters, we would really appreciate if you did that. Uh, we're honored, you know, this is for kind of, like I said, an impromptu thing. I, I think one of the things, Sharon, that we should have done is we should have had a, we should have had a, we should have had a, Rock and chairs. Rock and chairs. Yeah, you know, that so would have been could, nice. So we could sit on the porch, porch with yeah. the rock and chairs. We're gonna have some lemonade too. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is this is this is an impromptu thing, and uh, uh, we gotta bring it to you. We're blessed. We're blessed to have uh, Sister Sharon J. Hill. You know, it, it's an interesting thing about our people. They never seem to know how skilled our people are until they did. Oh boy, when they go when, when, when they go when they go to a funeral, boy, oh they can tell you, oh oh how great that person is, you know. But uh, uh, Sister Sharon, she has worked tirelessly in the community, going to different meetings, finding out about different laws and rules and regulations, and bringing that information to you, uh, so that. Uh, you can keep abreast of the things that are going on. Sister Sharon, tell us some good news. Praise God. Oh, uh, the good news. The good news is um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, first of all. And I have to um, first, as well, acknowledge Pastor Carol here for always having that spirit of unification, <laughs> okay? Bringing it all together. Um, I guess that is really the level that we connect on. Okay, we, we connect on it. It's his spiritual unification, and I constantly say, um, being a committed committee of one, joining together to get it done, is what we must be about. For we are our sisters and brothers. Keepers. Praise God. And keeping that in the forefront um, is, again, you know what it, it's all about. That um, brings it here to the students. <laughs> okay, from the stoop to you, that the opportunities abound for you to be involved to make a difference from Mission on the Move organization in Douglasville, Georgia, to New Cup in East Point, Georgia, to Let Your Life Shine in uh, Morrow, Georgia, formerly of Ellenwood, and so many others that are um, servicing or providing outreach. Yes, that's the word service, but they're providing service, but they're also um, reaching out to the um, families within our respective communities that just need a little bit of help. Uh, what do you call it? A, a hand, a hand up, not necessarily, you know, receiving the hand out, and that's really where we have to get people to, to be a part of the solution, not just wallow in being of the problem. And yes, people are doing things everywhere in little pockets, but we need to connect those dots. So that's why we come to you to share what you're doing. And it's an opportunity to let people know what you're doing and let them know how they can help. One of the misconceptions is that people don't want to help. That is not true. People do want to help. They just need to know what to do and what kind of help do you need? Do you need office help? Do you need someone to come in and answer the phone? Do you need someone to go and pick up donations? Do you need someone to hit the streets? Do you need someone to go and, and find out um, how many people need a, a further assistance at the Labor Department, at the um, Family and Children's Services uh, Office? Because people are there. They're, you know That's where they are. They're receiving, um, they're receiving help from different places, but we know that it is not always enough help and so we need to fill the gap as well as bridge it <laughs> and that means that that's so that's the whole covering of it that is it coming together and that's really what we're talking about communities coming together 
and making sure that all of our needs are met and you know we are one sincerely um, you ask why you have to reinforce something to a, a child to a, a teenager um, when you don't correct something and they go out and they rob a store do you realize that no matter whether the store is closed for a couple of hours or a few days that affects you in your community so see we are connected and it is upon us to get that message out, to actually be the message. Be the message and the messenger that we are one. Praise God. Wonderful.